parts of this programme, including special guests and one or two unexpected moments. Digital is a once-in-a-generation opportunity to put the SDGs back on track. Digital technology, I believe, is possibly the single greatest variable that is reshaping development as we know it today. We will also have a session on the ITU-UNDP Joint High Impact Initiative on Digital Public Infrastructure. And that's why Akim and I are sharing the stage today, because we believe, we believe, ladies and gentlemen, in the transformative impact of digital and a shared digital future for all, one that puts the SDGs back on track. All over the world, we are witnessing the power of technology to transform lives. Unfortunately, a third of the world's population still remain offline. To reach universal connectivity, we must reduce costs and invest in digital skills and access, and access to smart devices. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable de Development, we've heard in the last two days, it's off target, it's in peril. Debt distress and the lingering effects of COVID-19 pandemic with developing countries most hardly hit. We know that internet connectivity, especially in rural and developing areas, can rapidly accelerate economic growth. Indeed, digital transformation has the power to drive sustainable development creating myriad opportunities, among other things, for education, economic empowerment, gender equality, and social inclusion. So how do we use digital to accelerate 17 goals and 169 targets, Michael Wills? <laughs> While much more research needs to be done, we would say the power of digital is clear enough. Let's act now to unleash it. Imagine what we could achieve if we work together to utilize these technologies and drive them specifically for the SDGs. As said, even with relatively small-scale solutions, we are already re reaching hundreds of thousands of people, and we see visible impact at the country level. Imagine a world where education is not a privilege but a universal right. AI and robotics stand ready to amplify our efforts to accelerate the progress toward the sustainable development goals and to make our world a beacon of equity, sustainability, and unity. So I'm Roman Gojoyev. I'm coming from Azerbaijan. And this is my friend Ayhita. She's coming from India. We both are Generation Connect Visionaries Board at ITU. But we are here today to bring to the center stage the voices of the youth. You know, share their experiences, perspectives, and ideas and accelerating SDGs. I used to be for 30 years university professor. I know how we had to transform education because of the pandemic. Can digital help accelerate SDGs? Of course it can. At the core of it, we have one lever, and that's democratizing technology. Vodafone has worked, obviously, across the globe for many, many years, and we have seen firsthand how democratizing technology can improve people's lives and livelihoods. For addressing SDG 2, Zero Hunger, we have Ola Teitelstad, Lead Global Implementation Team and Deputy Director of HIP Center, University of Olso, and Monica Grace Amuha, Research and Grants Team Lead and MS Project Lead at HISP Uganda for presenting DHIS 2, SDG 3, Good Health and Well-Being. So that was a source of inspiration for us to uh, found Jiva. With, which is a profit for purpose entity. And it has a clear uh, stated mission to uplift smallholder farmer livelihoods at scale using technology. People are at the heart of the HS2, helping people innovate, make informed decisions, and reach all people with healthcare. We help build human capacity to support sustainable locally owned information systems. At BMZ, we have created a portfolio of digital initiatives which focus on three areas. First, advancing digital public goods and infrastructure. Second, fostering fair regulation of the digital economy. And third, promoting digital skills to empower individuals in the digital age. Now, continuing on the topic of quality education. And that's why 
WIPO created WIPO Green, a free online digital platform, which is a tech-matching platform to bring those who offer these technologies with those who need the technologies so that they can talk to each other and form partnerships. At Jibe, we've built a fully automatic digital water monitoring system. We combine data from satellite imagery and on-the-ground sensors into actionable information. But they were based on estimates and desk reviews. Local stakeholders did not have information on the ground, in the water, in order to identify effective actions to stop river plastic pollution. One of the main goals of SDG 15 is to halt land degradation and stop biodiversity loss. Our team is a group of individuals from all over the world, and we come together to use the power of sound and AI to protect the world. A round of applause for, for our distinguished speakers here. Thank you so much. But the sad reality is, with the innovative work that young people are doing around the world, there are obviously gaps in how well young people's skills and experiences have been utilized. So what I'll advise, or my takeaway from here, and a takeaway to everyone present here is, first of all, we need to build more partnerships with young people that are in the front line addressing the climate problems that we are facing. <laughs> so this robot dog is from Boston Dynamics and it is changing the industry from fa factory floors, construction sites, research labs, operations. Spot can provide valuable insights on factory operations, on health, on hazardous situations, and it's already revolutionizing industries such as security. Now, Spot, I don't have any digital treats but do you think you could do a trick for us? Of some, should I back up? I mean, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> the full turn. <laughs> Thank you, Spot. <laughs> Give Spot a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For me, digital connectivity, digital inclusion, digital access can solve so many of the fundamental problems and challenges that we face today. It can provide support for smart agriculture, leading to increased yields, increased production, and addressing the issues of food waste and food security, which is such a big problem for us now. It can address the issues of inclusion, financial inclusion for women, for young people, for marginalized groups through FinTech. And so let us harness the unlimited, incredible power of digital to create a just society, to create inclusion, and to promote prosperity. Help us find every school in the world. We don't know how many there are or where they are and help us get them connected to the internet. This is all important work when it happens at a global level, but I'd like to also take the chance to dive into some of the work that's been happening in Sierra Leone, one of our lead countries in GIGA. In Sierra Leone, it is our vision that GIGA-connected schools will not, it will not just be able to provide better access to education for our young students, but it is our vision that they would also serve as a hub for communities, especially in rural areas which previously had limited or no access to internet connection. Allowing residents to co-shape their cities and co-shape their urban landscape and ultimately contributing to the sustainable development goals of their cities. Data collection is tedious, it's time consuming, and often it's subjective. OpenSE aims to break that paradigm. In the Mobile Innovation Hub in Tunisia, the main purpose was to try and create decent employment and to improve um, the working conditions of, uh, of the youth in the country. I'm happy to announce that today we've created more than 7,000 digital career identities for informal workers, and within any given month, we connect about 4,000 people. 100,000 drought survivors, people looking for food, people looking for water, and you have farmers working together to figure out what was the climate going to bring. What if the power to change this wasn't in a pill or in a program, but in empowering mothers with knowledge, knowledge on health, knowledge on rights, knowledge on choices. 
Now, we are here at the halfway point towards achieving the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals and the potential to find new, better solutions using AI, our digital tools, it, it has to give you hope. But as always, it is up to us to use the new power for good, for a better, more just future for all of us. Thank you. It is my honor to present you today Digital Family Card. This project helped us to fight against social inequality, injustice that caused because of bureaucracy. This is the power of technology and how it can impact the life of people. Governments and institutions around the world need to uh, adopt more solutions like Mizan that caters for daily justice issues that the people face. And in so, we can improve our chances in achieving the goals of 2030. Alafia, peace today. Let us pray for peace. Let us hope for peace. Let us walk for peace for the men whose life echo of wars and rumbles. Let us pray for peace. We have done so much, and we, we do more. 17 goals. 17 digital solutions. Thank you. There are days that stay with us, and I think it's fair to say that today is definitely one of those days. Be the champions of digital solutions and be the architects of a more inclusive, of a safer, and a more sustainable world, both online and offline. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here. And above all, thank you to all of you who are making this happen every day somewhere in the world. Yeah.